Yeah, 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 this your boy Drummer Boy, a.k.a. D-Boy Fresh, and you listening to The Doc. We benefit. Hey, yeah. It's the one and only, the big homie, D-O-C. We got a friend of the family, man. Somebody who had to come back and kick it with us. It's been a minute, man. We done been through damn... Uh, quarantines, Everything. pandemics, been albums, mixtapes, uh, uh, what label deals, bit, everything, man. man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with uh, the Southside Riley's very own Young Sunday Boy. You might know him as a YSB What's on the poppin'? microphone, man. What's happening, bro? What's up, Doc? You already know it, man. Appreciate you having me back, man. Well, I'm doing hey. straight, man. I'm blessed, you know. Got to be blessed, man. But talk to me, bro. Like we we were talking off the mic game, man. Uh, pre-recording, and we uh got a chance to catch up. But the folks haven't. Heard from you on this side for a Fast. minute, bro. So we got a lot to talk about, a lot to cover. It's been 2017. I think the last joint that we had in rotation I was talking about was uh, Out My Body. Out My Body, yeah. Yes, indeed. And from so, there, it took it, off. It took off, yeah. It took shit, all the way. It's, it's crazy because that song still be getting me booked for shows to this day. Really? Like, that song, I made that song 2017, 2023. So that's, that's one of them ones that you could just... That's a real hit, I can say. You're going to eat off for the rest of your life. As long as it's still buzzing, I'm going to f*** with it. Come on now. For yes, sure. sir. I like that. I like that, man. But um, talk to me about um the the trail since then, because it's been a, a while since we typed in. So you had yeah. that, and I feel like was that the one that got you to that original deal? Pretty much. Yeah. High tech and out my body. It mm. was two songs. It was high tech and it was out my body. Them, high tech was hot too. Yeah, them the two songs that really just put me on a different caliber or level than other artists, local mm. artists. And shit. Cause it was just like, man, this shit is like next level music. But mm. yeah, like the journey crazy though, like. I done been through a lot since 2017. You know what I'm saying? Imagine. Like, it's been a whole lot. But, man, since 2017, how many albums I done put out since then? Projects? Probably like one, two, three, about four, five projects. Damn. Yes. Yeah, been then. working. Man, Boy, you've been I'm working. Always <laughs> working. I just dropped um, my recently new album, Young Son uh, Boy 2. Out right now? Out right now. I just dropped the Depression, man. 14, Come on now. 14 tracks. Yes, sir. No skills. One through 14, all hits. You know what I'm saying? Is it pressure? It's pressure. It's I'm pressure. talking about it's Zaha. It's uh, gas. I'm come talking on about now. no mid, no none of that. We smoke <laughs> gas. I'm talking about no Get cow. your front toes out, ladies and, and it's gentlemen. On all streaming platforms. I'm talking about uh-huh. everything. Anything you can think of is everywhere. Except for JPay. I'm trying to get it on JPay. So the homies See? behind the ball, behind the wall can get it. That's the last one. Mm-hmm. It's everywhere. Come on now. Come on now. That's what's up. Now talk to me about the uh, the preparation leading up to this latest, uh, latest release. Why is B2? Oh, it took a little... It took me like a year and a half, for real. Yeah, because I had mean, to like, break. Okay. Not what you as, mean, like a break? Like what? Mentally? Physically, well, like, yeah. Working like on it? Mentally. Up. Like, mm-hmm. I was still recording and shooting videos, and shit, but I wasn't like, as far as like, I wasn't dropping no music, no videos. I was just making music and, mm-hmm. and, and putting it in work behind the scenes, trying to get my money right, trying to get my mind right, trying to, because I was going through a label deal, too. So it was like, the I'm label. falling out with the label and shit. And I'm like, damn. I can't even draw no music right now, technically. Huh. So they wouldn't let you. Draw, so you could still create it in the, the studio and everything. But nah, like I ain't gonna sit here and say they wouldn't let me uh-huh. because I did. I dropped like a couple <laughs> singles in the midst of that fallout, uh-huh. but technically I wasn't supposed to. Gotcha. But you know, it is what it is. Mm. I, I can't nothing stop it. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed, right. if that's what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to keep going. So. Creators gonna create, bro. Gonna create. So that's I would cool. just, I just been creating. That's all. Coming up with a new sound, bro. Building a new fan base. Trying to touch people I can't reach. You know what I'm saying? Get indoors. Mm-hmm. I can't get in. Just trying to network, build my platform up. That's really what I was doing in a year and a half span. My page got hacked when I fell out with the last label. You know Word. what I'm saying? Signed to my new shop. Had fifteen something thousand, sixteen thousand followers. Uh. But. Yeah, it's just been a lot of shit, man. Yeah. A lot of shit, man. Bro, powered up. I see it. You look down and everything. That looked like that was exhaustion right there. When you do yeah, this right here, bro. Like, it's tired, bro. That's the yeah. struggle, bro, right there. That should be real, man. Yeah, I'm talking real. about like, yeah, it, it was real, but it was yeah. it's it's worth it though. For real, for real. Yeah, it's definitely it's the worth creation, it. bro. Now we were talking off the mic. You had a, a chance to go overseas or over, across, the, across country. the country. Across the country. Exactly. Show. Do tours, do shows, things like that. Now, um, with the first label, I know we won't we won't get into depth because you know what I'm saying yeah for sure everything like that. But it's um, talk to me about the first signing and then the opportunities that you got to experience because you're from Raleigh, bro. We got people from the South Side listening all the way to Rocky Mountain, yeah. Wilson. Like you got to to do this shit for real, for real. So talk it, to us. about I ain't gonna lie, it was a blessing, man. Mm-hmm. It was a blessing. It was a great experience, like personally, physically, mentally, financially, everything. It was mm-hmm. good, but it was also like. It was just a lot. You feel me? It was a lot. It was just a lot to deal with. Uh-huh. Not not to deal with. It was just a lot with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like with the label. But I mean, long story short, to sum it up, 
why I parted ways from it though, it was just because man, it just won't. I just feel like it wasn't the right fit for me. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the right. It just wasn't the right fit for me. I felt like it ain't no bad blood. Man, you know what I'm saying? But still I, love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it ain't no, ain't no, ain't no bad blood. You know guys, I ain't guys, got no, I don't got no hate in my heart towards nobody. Uh, but it just wasn't the right fit for me, man. I feel like I was bigger in the situation. To yeah. be honest, that's just how I feel. That's all right. Yeah, that's respectful. That's respectful. Now talk to me about the new situation, though, because you know you go from one old onto a next door, man. Yeah, Opportunities gotta, are always not man. Yeah, so what's I, up? I ain't gonna lie. I personally really like the new label situation because it ain't like the typical labels. What you mean? Like it ain't like pretty much how I can sum it up. We more of we more alike as people. So we click easier. Like we think the same, we got the same goals, everything is the same. We all trying to do the same thing. Uh -huh. So it's a little easier, a little cooler, like it's just the vibe there is just better. And then like how I got referred to them was through people who I already knew. So it won't like I'm just talking to somebody I don't got no clue about. And they've been watching me since 2018 anyway. So they so was already a, a yeah, name. It was just a call away. All I had to really do. Yeah. Touch. So it's more of a, a family situation. Yeah, sound like, like we yeah. locked in. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Shout out Big Will. You might know Big Will. His security guard around Raleigh. He be doing like uh, amnesia, strip club. Mm -hmm. and all Shout that out club. to Big Will. Big Will. He really the one who made me want to even sign with. Him. Cause at first I wasn't gonna do it. I'm mm. like, man, I just went through live label. I ain't, about to, you know what I'm saying? I'm right. gonna stay independent for a second. But I mean, it ain't. It's a it's a public it's a publishing marketing and distribution deal, PMD deal. So it ain't like, it ain't want too much. Hey, you ain't yeah, tied but, to it. KMC to King Music Court. Shout out to them. That's my new label, KMC. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Guap Playboy Poppy out there in Greenville, two five two area. Tony O Dollars. Yeah. OT Tay, it's you know we got the camp, we the camp, man. Yeah. KLC, oh, bro, yes indeed, you know? yes indeed. But, I, but I'm more focused just on just building, man. We just trying to build, just trying to get that, get the numbers up, get the name out there, and just show people what we really hitting for. Bro, you got yeah. to, you got yeah. to, ladies and gentlemen, you're on live with the DOC chopping it up. A YSB young son, the boy Southside's finest out here, Riley doing it big. Keep it locked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This your boy Drummer Boy, aka D Boy Fresh, and you listening to the Doc. We benefits. Hey, yeah. It's the one and only, the big homie DOC. Still on the line right here with YSB. Young Sonny Boy, South Side's finest, man. What's popping, bro? What's popping? What's popping, bro? Man, can't call it. We've been over here chopping it up, man. Catching up, going over the old, the new, and uh, seeing what's going on. Now, um, we talked about the beauty of being signed to a label, mm -hmm. and being in the city, and being from the city. Now, mm -hmm. you got to talk to me about the ugly, because a lot of people don't talk about this side. Boy. The bigger you get, the bigger that target get on your back. So, talk to me about the hate. Tell talk to me. me about what's coming on. Tell, Shade, me, bro. tell me about it, man. Hmm. I ain't going to lie, man. Like My advice for up-and-coming artists or people that's trying to do this same thing I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it comes to like leveling up, because at first I didn't understand it. You know what I'm saying? Even at first, I didn't even understand how people looked at me. Like From out my body days, like I used to go around the city, everybody like, oh, wise be wise. Mm -hmm. I'm still thinking I'm a little peanut from the South. Like, yeah. I'm not thinking like I'm... I'm still Why, broke as hell. I don't, uh, I don't, y'all got more than me. You feel me? So I'm yeah. thinking like, shit, I ain't nobody. But as you gradually just start grinding, just leveling up, bro, like people really do start to envy, nope. hate, jealous. It's, it comes from the closest people around oh, you. Right family. up under your nose. I'm talking about your family. Yeah. I'm blood, I'm same mama, same daddy type shit. Damn. Best uh. friends. I'm talking about your girlfriends, all that shit. I fell out with everybody besides niggas you see in this room. Damn, they had to and create a, couple, a whole new squad. Besides a couple other motherfuckers. You uh. know what I'm saying? Salute to the real ones that's still here, but you know what I'm saying? Bro, it be like that. And it, then they, the, the like crazy that. part, they say you changed, but nah, you stay the same I'm the whole time. I'm the same. I'm, I'm whole just time, leveling up. I'm, just, I'm still the same as that nigga. Yep. I just might got on a, a chain now. Mm -hmm. I might just got on a, a, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still the same. Ain't nothing changed but the address. Ain't nothing changed but the address, because oh. it's definitely been changed a couple mm. times. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to keep changing. You know how that go? Yeah, but, right. yeah man, uh. like, the hate real, though. I learned right. that. Mm. Like, it's real. Right. And it don't. It don't take no prejudice, bro. It's you and the niggas that you around too, cause up like. And then at first, I ain't uh, understand it too, like from your hometown hate type shit. It trash. Be, it, it's lame as hell, cause trash. it's like yo, these are the same niggas we grew up with, mm -hmm. running around the city with, going to school with, playing basketball with, the boys and girls club with, yep. doing everything together. We was all doing the same. Shout shit. Out to Boulevard. Yes, now indeed. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You see me on TV. Your girl listening to my shit. Mm. Your homies listening to my shit. 
hit them a certain you, type you, of way. You got down, you go uh, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, you see my shit. Yep. They reposting it. That yep. shit, that shit makes certain people mad. Bruh, you know what I'm saying? Them. We going in the clubs. Me and my homies, we doing this, we doing that. We traveling. We don't like that shit. Hate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. But it's only going to get worse, though. Yeah. I'm prepared for it. You Man. know what I'm saying? The bigger you get, the worse it's just going to get. That was going to be my next it's question. All, it's all good in the hood, though. How does YSB deal with something like that? See, now me, I'm getting real. I'm like a goddamn. That shit don't phase me. Bro. Uh. At first, it used to. Like, mm. I ain't going to lie. I ain't show it, but it used to. Like, ah, damn, you really going to. Damn, that's how you feel. Like, damn, that's how it is. But, you know, the older I get. It's just life too, though. Mm. It ain't even just about no music or nothing like that. Like, bro, that's just life. Right. Like, it don't matter. You a doctor, a basketball player, whatever you doing. You level up. You gonna yep. fall out with people naturally because right. everybody ain't got your mindset. Everybody ain't don't see your vision. So I meant to come with everybody you. not meant to be with you anyway. Dude. I had to learn that anyway. Like, I feel better now that everybody didn't show me their hands because it's like. Shit. You definitely not finna be with me at all. Bro. I definitely don't need to be around you. Showing me, I don't need yep. to have no ties with you. So that's early cool. too. Like, Thank you for showing me, me right soon. Now yep. before, them, before the millions come we in, we ain't even touched the commas yet. Cause niggas, yep. was, niggas was tripping about a couple thousand, couple hundred. At first, niggas be tripping out hundred, two hundred dollars show, three hundred. Ain't We ain't even get to the bands yet. We ain't even getting to them to that real deal mm. money yet. You know what I'm saying? But we mm. definitely leveling up. We are like. For a show around here, let's go. Understand? We gonna cut that part out because we don't want to give him the number. Nah, for sure. You, yeah, we, we gonna cut that part out. Yeah, we gonna cut him out. Just know I went from hundred. That nigga said a hundred thousand. That's what he said. I went from a hundred dollars a show to yeah. where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? It's only gonna go up. So it's yes, just like sir. you know. But yeah, man, how I deal with it though, I just I really let it be like a stepping stool because people don't understand. Like you hating this, shit. you don't know. You really just giving me more publicity. That's fuel. You hating like you you pillow talking or you talking you back biting behind my back. It's just like oh that whoever you telling that to they gonna go look who up you talking about. Who the hell is this you keep talking oh, about? Man. Why is he out? Let me go see who this is. Nah, Sir. nah, they a fan. Mm -hmm. They ain't even gonna tell you. You know what I'm saying? That's how I go. It's, I just be seeing a lot of weird shit going on, but it just come with the game. You feel me? But that's it, bro. That's I don't it. let it phase me no more. Good. That's a beautiful damn thing, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the line live with YSB. Young Sonny Boy out here doing the damn thing. Ladies and gentlemen, tap in with YSB 2 out right now on all platforms. All platforms. We're going to go ahead and get that thing running, Young ladies Sonny and gentlemen. Young Sonny Boy 2. We're going to jump into another single right here with the DLC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your boy, Drummer Boy, a.k.a. D-Boy Fresh. And you listening to The Doc. We beneficial. Hey, yeah. Oh, we live on the line with Young Sonny Boy, man. YSB, Southside's Finals. What's happening with you, bro? Yo, what's popping, Doc? Man, can't call it, bro. We over here talking about the good, the bad, the ugly of the game, the ins, the outs, the ups, and the downs. You done been through some things since the last time you came through, 2017. Mm -hmm. It's 2023, the year of Jordan. No cap. The year of the seven. I'm 23. It's 2023. Yeah, I'm 23. It's 2023. The stars is aligning, bro. I'm telling you. And I see my engine numbers every day, 555. That's the fuck. Come on, bro, I've been big five. You know what I'm saying? Everything lines up. This shit lining up. <laughs> this shit lining up. Just like everything, everything <laughs> lines up. Perfect. I'm talking about everything lining up. Go, cool. oh man, it's this man's season. It's a reason he here right here talking to us right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's why SB on the line. Now we got to go ahead and talk about gems. Because you got a lot of people who've been looking at you. Fact. Coming up. A lot of haters, a lot of supporters. A lot of people who are young artists out here who want to do exactly what you've been doing, who want to go ahead and follow the trail Fact. and then go a little bit step further. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Fact. So what could you drop to a couple of artists out here to let them know, um, I guess, the way to go in the direction, man? What, yeah, what gyms could you I drop? I got a to few do? things to say, honestly. Talk to them. I don't even know where to start. Well, I could start by first, you got to believe in yourself. Mm. Before anybody, I don't give a if it's your mama, your homie, your best friend, manager, whatever. If you don't believe in that shit, mm. nobody's going to fall for it, buy your album, listen to you. If you don't believe in yourself, it ain't going to work. So that's where I'm going with that part. So for one, you got to believe in yourself. For two, you got to invest in yourself. Invest. You got to invest. We talking about money? Money. Okay, okay. Money. We got to be clear. Time, uh -huh. energy, all that. You got to invest your soul, mind, body, spirit, everything to what you're trying to do. Mm. But money, too, you definitely got to invest that money. So in, invest in, you got to invest in yourself. You got to believe in yourself. You got to build the right team. You got to have the right people around the you. squad. You got to have the right people yep. around you. And you don't need that many people. Everybody would think you need a whole, oh, I need 10, 20 people. No, you need like two, three solid motherfuckers. Solid. Ready to hit yeah. the road. 
ready to invest with you, ready to take them risks with you, and I'm telling you, you're gonna be good. Um, you got professional craft too. Yeah. You gotta really like um take the time out your day to perfect your sound, how you want your music to sound, the message in your music, the audience you want to target. And then, like, me learning, being around labels and shit, one thing I can tell y'all to kind of, like, crack the code kind of early if you want to just pop on some crazy shit, you got to crack the code to the internet. The internet. That's the easiest way to social pop. Social media and everything. Social media. I'm talking about TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. If you can if you can crack the code to where you got a lot of followers on them apps, you can blow up. Cause it's not really so mo- so much about talent no more. If you paying attention to music, that's crazy. it's not about, it, bro? That, it's not that's about crazy talent. As f- it's not about talent no more. It's yeah. not about how good the music is. Mm-hmm. Cause if that was the case, I would have been on. But, <laughs> Facts. But, it's, <laughs> but it's not about uh, the music. It's about building relationships. Cause yep. it's all about who you know, and it's about how hard you and how much you're willing to give to get to the next level. Cause you gotta really risk. And sacrifice everything to get to that next level. Right. I'm not talking about oh, the level I'm at right now. Even though I did have to sacrifice a lot to get right here, mm. but I'm talking about like out of here type level. Top mainstream. We talking about little like top and, them yep. and all that. A million, a half a million for a show mm-hmm. and all that. You got to sacrifice a lot to get to that point. For real. For real. They don't understand it, bro. You got to be willing to sacrifice. You got to be a different type of person. Bro. Yep. Selfish. You, you got to be selfish. selfish. Yep. That's what everybody called me now. Mm-hmm. Like, it's selfish. Hell, yeah, I'm selfish. With yep. my time, with my money, with my energy, everything. Because mm-hmm. if you give it away, then what? Because I already learned once you take a loss, it's going to leave you. Yeah. He <laughs> said. That's <laughs> facts. You, That's what he said. Down, yep. Take a That's loss, f- think you down and out. Motherfucker's going to leave. I mean, part of, my, part of my language. You know we cutting everything. Say it. Yep. Everybody going to leave you. Homies, family, they're going to leave you and everything. You're going to take an L. Mm-hmm. It's all good. That's what comes with it. But when you bounce back, just know don't fuck with them people. Boom, no man. Cut them off. They already showed you their card. They already showed you. Keep it going. That's mm-hmm. all I can say. But up and coming artists, just invest in yourself. Believe in yourself. Have the right people around you, bro. And never let nobody tell you you can't do this shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you got to really be on some Mamba Kobe mentality. Mm-hmm. Like, with, with being a rapper. Like, can't nothing stop me. I don't know what happened. I don't give a what's going on. I don't give a how, my, how my bank account look. None of yeah. that. Because you can't let money be the issue that stop you neither, though. At all. Because when I first started, it wasn't no budget. Mm. It was five, six, putting in $50 to shoot a video for $250. Yes, $10. sir. You yes, me? sir. Go to the studio for two hours, drive all the way to Greensboro for a two hour session, bro, mm-hmm. for $50. And we spent that bitch four ways. Trying to get four, five tracks out that motherfucker. And I was getting three, four songs in two hours in. Yes, sir. I already writing all those lyrics down, so when I go in there, I just knock it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So money not the excuse, because most niggas when they blow up, ain't no money involved anyway. It's just you just talented, and you know a lot of people, and you just timing and all it's that. Just, you just one of the ones. Mm-hmm. But other than that, bro, like it's not about the money, so you can't make money an excuse. Nothing is an excuse at all. The stuff I done been through and the stuff I seen other people go to go through to get where they at, get it's no excuse for you to tell me you can't do what you're supposed to be doing. It's no excuse, like none. So that's just my advice, bro. You just got to block out the distractions. Just put your head down to the ground, bro. You feel me? Because it's going to come. And keep God first, too. I forgot to say that. Because God really the only reason why people be getting through. People, If you don't believe in God or you don't got some type of relationship with him, it ain't going to work. At all, it ain't gonna work. You, you might lost. get a little something. You might get uh, a little, but it's gonna just. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yes, so, indeed. Now keep yeah. in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to speak for wise beat, but God is your universe, your soul, whoever you, whatever you believe in. Nah, that's that sure. thing, that higher power, that higher for being. For sure, indeed. You got to have something else behind you. God you knows best. That's one of my favorite phrases. Come on now, God say it again for time for the people. God knows best. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, heard. Yes, indeed. K M B. No, it's a K. Nah. No. Hold on, GKB. GKB. Come on now, yeah. Cleveland Public Schools. I'm a little dyslexic every now and then. You got to forgive me, ladies and gents, but I made it to the radio for a reason, baby. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we on the live with YSB Young Southern Boy Southside Spiders. We about to go ahead and get into this last joint right here off of YSB Two, and it's called Pop It Like Me. Let's Shout get. out DJ Rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This your boy Drummer Boy, aka D Boy Fresh, and you listening to the Doc. We beneficial. Hey, yeah. 
ladies and gents. We chopping it up with Young Sunny Boy YSB straight from the south side of Raleigh. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't caught YSB 2, go ahead and get that right now. Available on everywhere. Streaming on all platforms. YSB was popping, bro. YSB 2 out now. That's what's popping, man. Y'all yes. gonna get that. You heard it. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. We just go ahead and finished up that, uh, what was it? That Popley Like Me joint right there on the YSB 2. Talk to me about, um... The singles that you got going on, because we just checked it. It's all about three, four of them joints over there trending right now, man. Talk to me about the, the production of the whole album. Hey, man, I ain't going to lie. It's about four songs up there with a star already beside it. I think that's Poppy Like Me, hmm. Boy That Black, Top Speed. Hmm. Don't compare me, I think. I don't know, but I know all them shit's going. But yeah, Buzz. man, but the production and how I put it together, it was just like, shout out D-Money. Producer. Hey, come on now. Shout he out made, D Money. He, I think he made two tracks up there, 12 a.m. and Grapevine. Okay, okay. Um, shout out Trill. He a young, he a young up and coming producer. Um, he made Steady Shining. He he mm-hmm. real hard. Um, who else? Who else produces? Money Made. Shout out Money Made. He out there in Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Uh, no stress and all them. Issa. Oh, he he with Issa. Shut, shut. Shout yeah, out to him. He, he be out there with no stress. Mm. German Steve. Shout out German Steve. They out. They also from Charlotte. They uh. If I'm not mistaken, last time I checked, they were signed with a pub deal with SCMG, too, though. Oh, that was my shit. producers from Charlotte. Ugh. So I'm still locked in with them. They got a couple uh, tracks up there. I can't even really think of everybody else. But, mm-hmm. yeah, that, that's that's the uh, main producers on the track, on most of the tracks. Um, I came up with the the track list, the order. The whole order? Yeah, okay. I, I came up with it. I just listened to it from top to bottom. Mm-hmm. And was like, hey. That song was 7.30 Joe. I added it, though, the day before the album dropped because we made it. I had been had the album done, and I uploaded the album like a week early. But the day before it was dropped, I had went to the studio, and I had randomly ran into a little 7.30 Joe, and we made this the one. That's track 14 on the album. Um, I wasn't going to put it up there, but then I'm like, damn, bro, this shit is crazy. Like, I hit I my man, on, huh? I think I got a song you got to add, bro. Uh, we just added it up there, so that's how the 14 track came, but... Yeah, I just I just want this album to be a representation of who I am. You know what I'm saying? What I've been through, how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that's just where it's at. I want this album to be able to motivate people. Motivation. Get you through your day. Motivation. Yeah, yeah. You know Come on now. Mad on my neck. Got that. Got that tatted. But I just want to motivate everybody to keep pushing. I want everybody to understand just who I am, man. You know what I'm saying? Where I come from. Mm. I want everybody to. Embrace the new sound, cause I know I got a I, I I got a bunch of melodies, new versatile sounds up there that everybody probably ain't used to yet, cause they like, oh, I know this from shoot 'em up, bang bang music. Uh-huh. But now I got a lot of, I just got music. I, I make music now for every mood. So you expanding the the, the horizon. The horizon. Say, oh, every okay. mood, every mood that you be in, I got a song for on that album. If you sad, I got a song for a sad day. Come on. If you happy, I got a song to make you happy. If you trying to go to the club, turn up, throw some money on some strippers, da, 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 got some songs for that. If you want to ride down the highway with your little shorty, mm-hmm. got a song for that. If you want to got do whatever, whatever you want to do. It's something for you. It's something for you. If you play sports, you want to get motivated before that game, Yo, it's cut on hell Them track. the best albums whatever I've ever heard. Whatever you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Yo. And it's called, it's a self-titled album, Young Sunday Boy, it's me. So mm-hmm. it's just showing you what I am, what I stand for, who I am, you feel me? So. That's it. That's all it was. Bro, that's, that's a beautiful album. damn thing, man. Yeah, See, uh, the, the greatest albums that I ever heard have theme songs for everything. Yeah, if, I look, sure. if I think back to uh, like my personal favorites, the Black Album or the College Dropout or the Late Back. Registration. I, the, I rock with that uh, College Dropout. For real, for that real. That College the, uh, Dropout was something different. Damn, uh, 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 Motivation 101. Like, it's a, it's a song for every single Movie. Thing that you exactly yeah, the mood, the movie. vibe, everything that you want, man. So mm-hmm. those are the greatest albums that I've ever heard. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I guess we're gonna throw YSB two up there, huh? For sure. Let's go ahead and throw sure. it up there, that's, man. That's yes, it is. My, this definitely my best body of work so far. Feel that? For sure. Hands yeah. down. Like YSB one was hard, but this mm-hmm. shit ain't YSB one ain't got nothing on YSB two. Ain't touching it. Ain't touching. Come on now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, go ahead. Go get pop that, that album, man. ASAP, ladies. <laughs> 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 on the line. <laughs> With the one and only YSB. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. We uh we got YSB 2 out right now. Out right now. Before we go ahead and wrap this thing up, is there anything you want to leave with the people, son? Um, chase your dreams, man. Go download my damn album. Get that. You know what I'm saying? Um, And yeah, man, just follow your dreams, man. Don't let nobody stop you from doing what you want to do. Nobody can stop you. 
Only person who got that last call is man upstairs. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else can determine what you're doing or how you're going to get there. It's up to you and him mm. to get there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, God knows best. Just keep him first. Just keep grinding. Keep your head down. Just block out all the haters, man. Because I know and, and, and people got to know how to get over that hump. Like, the only thing constant is change. I learned that, too. That's the only thing that's ever going to be constant. It's going to be his change. So, yes, you got to be able to. Catch every wave mm -hmm. You gotta get over every hump So yeah That's all I got to say man Just and make sure you go download Put your mama on Your auntie Your uncle Your cousin Your your baby mama yeah. Your baby mama Best friend yeah. Your co-worker yeah. Go get that YSB2 Young Sunny Boy To the album Out everywhere You know what I'm saying Y'all can go follow me On all social media platforms nope. At Young Sunny Boy 5 mm -hmm. That's my Instagram name mm -hmm. On Twitter Young Sunny Boy I'm the only two I really be on oh, TikTok. Y'all can follow my TikTok, the TikTok at Young Sunny Boy. Let's I'm, go. I'm trying to get jiggy with it. I ain't really no <laughs> dancing dude, but I be trying to, you know. Uh, go. But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all having me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Doc. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Appreciate y'all. You know it, ladies and gentlemen. It's the one and only, the big homie DOC. You just heard the wise words from YSB. Kick back, relax. We about to jump into this last joint off of YSB two. It's the DOC. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, 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 this your boy Drummer Boy, a.k.a. D-Boy Fresh, and you listening to The Doc. We beneficial. Hey, yeah.